Andrew is the hardest working man I've ever met. Even with the lifestyle he lives now, and as fun as it looks, and it is fun, and all the fun shit we do is real. Even if we are in a luxury hotel in the south of France where you're paying $10,000 per room, Andrew will be up at seven o'clock in that hotel gym. He'll message me at 8.30, I'll wake up next to God knows who. Whiskey spilled all over the desk. But again, that inspires me. And he'll be like, emergency meeting in my room. Emergency meeting, you always say that. So I'll go to his room. So the whole emer- world is what's the emergency, emergency meeting. And he'll bring up tiny issues with the business that you know I could have slept on quite happily. But again, it's like me doing the exercise when he won't. It pushes me to be a better person. And Andrew will happily work 15, 16 hours a day and then go out and spend four or five hours having fun and blowing loads of money. It doesn't come from the sky. It's not magic. We're not trust fund kids. We didn't win the lottery. He is the hardest working man I have ever met. And the fact that I can even live with him and try to keep up is, is, is a, a testament to me because it's difficult, you know? Because it's constant. Yeah, and people don't see the work. People don't see the work. Um, I mean, me and Andrew, we're in good shape. I don't post training videos and, you know, fitness progress videos. I just do the work and let the results speak for itself. When, in terms of money and in terms of business and success, that's Andrew. Everyone's like, oh, well, well how does he have all this money? Maybe he's a criminal, you know? So uh, how does he have all this money? I know why he has all this money, because he's sitting right there at that desk at least 10 hours a day, even when we're not on house arrest. He'll be out in the evenings having his fun, and that's what we'll show to the world. This whole, hey, look at me, I'm at my laptop and I'm gonna grind away for six hours. Like that's, no one wants to see that on Instagram. No one wants to see that on social mm-hmm. media. It's boring. They want to see you driving the Bugatti with a cigar in your mouth and a beautiful girl next to you. But that doesn't come without sitting at that desk for a good while first. 